Hello everybody and welcome to Romanticals Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading. It is a weekly reading however and it is for the sign of Cancer. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever feels um, comfortable with you, whatever correlates with you and the rest of it just leave it aside. If you feel as, as though it doesn't quite make sense to you then most likely it is not meant for you. Um, that being said, um, if you would like to have your own personal reading, you're in search of guidance, you're in search of answers, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Uh, and it will be my great pleasure to uh, answer your questions and send you any um, information on the different type of readings that I can offer you to find those answers for you. On another note, uh, if you do enjoy my channel and you do enjoy my messages, please do take a brief moment to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it is greatly appreciated. So that being said, we are going to begin this reading. Um, so as I said, this is a reading for the sign of Cancer. That being said, let's just turn these cards over and see what kind of message I could get for you. Now I'm using the Lenormand and I'm also using the Kipper cards. So I have the woman, I have a message, I have a book, I have the dice, I have expectations with courtship, I also have the mountains and I have change. Okay, so uh, we're going to begin with these two cards because uh, they're almost the same thing, okay, but they're from two different decks, so let's see. Uh, it, it is quite important that we talk about it. It did came out, come out twice into two different decks and within four cards per deck, which is not a lot. So um, we're talking here about thinking. This is about um, the woman into the relationship, really just thinking about what is going on. Um, how do we feel about this relationship? It's really about thinking about how, um, it's about thinking a lot about the past. Okay, and how we enjoy the company of our partner and what we do like and what we didn't like as much. But this is mostly, I would have to say, this card here at this moment, the thoughts are more oriented to something of pleasurable. Okay, it's something that is more happy, it is something that is more joyful, and it's just really thinking about it and enjoying thinking about that person because we do love them. So this is what this card here is depicting. But I do have to say that I do have right beneath it the expectation cards. The expectations is um, somewhat the same. Here she's holding a rose. Here she's holding a locket in her hand. So in both cases, we're holding a piece of memorabilia, something that we love about that person that cares, that we care about, that reminds us of them. May it be a t-shirt with a scent. It doesn't really matter. A picture. Um, so this here is really about... Um, it really about thinking. So she's thinking about someone, about something, and it's really about a little bit of a pause. It's a waiting period where there's just no forward motion right now is what is going on. So this is a difference between both cards. Here we're just thinking, we're enjoying the moment. Here we're thinking, but we're taking a little bit of a pause. We're taking a little bit of a couple steps back here. Um, it's a waiting period, like I said, where there's no forward motion. It's a little bit about stagnation. And this is all really about observation. So here you are observating, reflecting. It's about patience. It's about thinking things thoroughly and thinking things through, okay? So this no action is being taken at this time. And that is a very, very important to know that right now, it's just a moment to think. It's a moment to assess. It's a moment to know what it is that we want, what it is that we don't want. Because yes, we do love them, you know, but there are some problems into the relationship. So this is really about a moment of observation and assessment. Um, this is about the wishes. This is about the expectations. This is about your hopes. And it's really a need to be patient. And in love, you're just really wishing for that partnership. And you're just waiting for it. And you're just waiting for the better partnership to come, for the best of it. You want even more out of this partnership. That being said, there is going to be a message that is going to be coming to you. So I do believe you're going to be receiving a message here from your partner. Um, and now a message could be communicated orally also um, about the relationship, about a couple of little problems that you do have. Um, 
because right now I really do feel that there's a little bit of a gamble going on into this relationship, okay? So this relationship could either go really, really well, like it could go really, really bad. Um, but that is to be seen in time. And that is, it's all going to depend on how you react and how they react and how everything is just put together so the relationship becomes more of a union. Because you're receiving a message here. And the message is going to be partly saying that, you know, there's uh, there's lacking. There's, there's a moment of stagnation and nothing more is moving and you really need some movement you need some novelty something needs to change into this relationship because you're kind of feeling bored about it and so and I do have the same you know I'm getting that message from the card that was right beneath, beneath it with which is the courtship and really this card he is really trying to tell me that um, you know this is Cupid's bow who came okay but Cupid's bow unstrung you know and he's got no more arrows and um, so this is really about um, it's really about trying to find ourselves out. It's trying to get ourselves out of that rut, trying to figure out how could we ignite that passion again? How could we get that back? Because right now we're just kind of bored. So how are we going to get out of this boredom? This is what you're going to have to discuss. It's what you're going to have to find. So this is going to be some of the challenges for you. Um, I have the mountain here, which is all about challenges. And you know what? When you see a mountain, you really have two choices. Now, you can either walk up all the way to the pick, which is, is going to be much more arduous. It's going to be more difficult, but you can do it, right? Or you can go and you can take the shortcut and you can go all the way around the basis of the mountain. You could do that also. It's going to be much easy. Um, much easier. But that being said, are you going to get the same fruit, the same um, the same result out of climbing that mountain and discovering who you are, who your partner is and everything than if you just go at the basis at the bottom? Is the shortcut better than the actual path? That is going to be completely up to you to find out. That being said, um, these obstacles that you do have are surmountable. Um, but like I said, very important, this relationship here is really a gamble. Is it going to work or is it not? It's really going to depend on the amount of time and love and caring that you both put into the relationship. I feel as though there are some um, modifications that are going to be changing. And I feel as though, because when I do talk about modifications, it could be little things like once a week we are doing an activity together and you never did it before. Things to reignite, to bring you back together, to make you less distant to bring the love back, to ignite it again, ignite what was there. Um, and I do have a, a book here, it's a book of secrets, and this is a book of secrets of your partner, so there are some secrets hidden into this book, and if we could only, if it could only be tangible, it would be absolutely fantastic, wouldn't it? But it, it is not, so that being said, um, you do need to tap in, you need to tap into their psyche, you need to tap into who they are, what they want truly, so this is gonna be your challenge um, for the upcoming weeks to come. You need to figure out your um, your partner. So that being said, um, this does conclude this reading. I hope that I gave you some interesting passages, some interesting thoughts. Um, I do hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated with you. If it didn't, it's a general reading, so it does happen. Um, if you would like to have your own personal reading, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. In the meanwhile, I do wish you a fantastic day, many blessings. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we'll be seeing each other soon. Have a great day. Thank you again.